an Iranian automaton about slammed into a U.S. Navy stream on Tuesday. The F-A-18E Super Hornet from the Argonauts of Strike Fighter Squadron, VFA, 147 allotted to USS Nimitz, was get ready to arrive on the plane carrying warship in the central Persian Gulf. The Super Hornet needed to move to stay away from crash with an Iranian Calm-1 unmanned airborne vehicle, bringing about a horizontal partition of roughly 200 feet and a vertical division of around 100 feet as indicated by a Facebook articulation by U.S. Maritime Forces Central Command. RT.com reports. The automaton overlooked rehashed radio calls, the U.S. authorities stated, depicting the communication as risky and unprofessional, according to Reuters. While the authorities did not indicate which unit the U.S. stream had a place with, the main bearer at present in the Gulf is the USS Nimitz, CVN-68 as indicated by data made openly accessible by the U.S. Navy. The Super Hornet was a piece of the Strike Fighter Squadron, VFA, 147, doled out to the Nimitz, the U.S. Naval Institute affirmed. It was working in global airspace at the season of the episode, which happened around 1 p.m. nearby time on Tuesday. In June, U.S. contenders shot down an Iranian-made automaton over southern Syria saying it had come excessively near the place to stay of U.S.-sponsored Syrian activists. The automaton was supposedly utilized by the Iranian-supported volunteer army faithful to the legislature in Damascus. Related, so. Iran has drones that can fly almost 2,000 miles. U.S. boats and planes that approach the outskirts of China, Russia and Iran are frequently caught by those nations' airship which once in a while fly close trying to drive the interlopers off. Hazardous and amateurish is a typical expression utilized by the Pentagon to portray such experiences.